What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mole Man episode. I told y'all I had a special guest coming down to the coast and we are here. I got the man himself, Mr. Jesse Griffiths. Hey there. And uh, if y'all don't know who he is, he'll be linked in the description. Got a sweet, awesome restaurant in Austin that I have yet to go to. What? I'll be there. Okay. I'm coming. <laughs> I gotta go try it out. But we are, he's the crab man here in Texas. So he brought, he's actually been down here for a few days already crabbing with another buddy. Um, but he brought six. You allowed five, five per person? I think six. Oh, six. I should know my regs better. Okay, I thought it was five. So six per person. I got two. I was gonna go get more, but he's like, "Hey, we've got enough here, so uh, we're rolling with it." So I got two over here. We're gonna rig those up. My buddy Travis just uh, lent me a few buoys, so we're gonna mark them, tag them, and uh, make sure everything's legal. And then Jesse brought some chicken for bait. And then uh, we're gonna go find a good spot to set these out, and then we're gonna go do some weight fishing. Hopefully, we can catch some dinner and uh, have this chef cook us up some goodness for dinner. So y'all stay tuned and enjoy. All right, the man himself, the crabber. We just spent 10 minutes looking for that stupid twine, but we found it. So first things first, he had me put a piece of duct tape around our buoy this different differentiates it from a commercial trap that's right so you want a contrasting stripe on your buoy it needs to be more than six inches and round can't be like a old bleach jug or anything like that uh, and that'll mark that as a recreational crab trap cool next up what we got to do is create a biodegradable escape hatch on there so this thing is usually it's going to be on the top of the trap and this thing is usually wired shut. What you want to do is unwire it so that it will go open and then tie it with a single knot. And you can double it over a little bit, but it's just like a really fairly weak knot. It'll last through a season of crabbing though. That way that'll biodegrade and that panel can open in case this trap gets abandoned on the bottom. And then it'll just turn into a kind of a killing machine. You know, you don't cool. want that. So it'll just continue to catch. I noticed too that our, these aren't open enough, are they? Probably not. Yeah, you're gonna wanna open those up a little bit because uh, I anticipate only catching large crabs. Yeah, jumbos. Jumbos, whales. Yeah, so that's a good call. You wanna open those up. And once they get in there, they should kind of panic a little bit and they'll swim up. And that's what this funnel, funnel is. This. They'll swim up into there, and then the, once they get into this top part, there's no getting out. They can't really get back down. So that's really what you wanted to do: is walk in there, get into this bait chamber, you know, try to get into it, and then kind of get a little claustrophobic and swim up. Awesome. Yep. And then we just tie our buoy to it, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, we need to tag it. You need to put a oh, gear yeah. tag on there, your name, your address, and the date He's on there. He's got that in his pocket. So yeah. Put those then, on there. Yeah. I'll zip tie those onto the uh, onto the buoy. It needs to be attached to the buoy. And uh, just after you accomplish all those things, you're ready to go. Now we're ready to go crabbing. We're real crabbers. The old Haney. Look at all the deer. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing out here. It's like 108 degrees right now, but. The old Haney's loaded down with old crab traps, so we're gonna get these other two dialed in and uh, we'll see y'all in the water. Triple tail, triple tail, let me get the net. Oh, dude, it's a stud. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden I was like, tick, 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 yep. tick, and I was like, oh, <laughs> yep, he's on there. Hold on, let me tie that drag up the touch. Bring him over. Oh, dude, perfect fish. Beauty. Nice. Give me some knuckles, dude. Oh yeah, man. Nice. On a uh, mullet belly. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey. Nice, nice improv there. Stuffed triple tail with blue crab. Yeah. Well, we're halfway there. Yep. Yeah. We're halfway there. <laughs> Beauty. Right on. Oh. Beauty. Yeah. That's my first. First triple tail. Yeah, man. Pretty cool. We need to measure him to be sure, but I'm yeah. almost positive he's a keeper. Yeah. I right don't. We got on another triple tail. We're gonna see if old Jesse can hook up again. This one's not a keeper, but they are fun to catch, that's for sure. He's all you. Nope. Nope. 
Oh, he's going for it. Ah. Uh, he's back on the buoy. Got him. Boat flip. Pretty little guy. Yeah. Not a keeper, but it's still fun. And we still got a bait. All right, guys. So we finally found a spot where there's not a million commercial trappers. We want to kind of stay out of their hair. Um, that's what they do for a living. And we're just out here having fun, like Jesse says. So he's getting his stuff together getting dates put on so it has the correct date on there and then uh is it you just have chicken legs or what do you have yeah leg quarters cheap leg quarters leg quarters and we'll fill the bait bait part up of the trap and we'll set one every what 100 foot yeah every 100 feet in a line so that we can just run by and check it probably go with the wind so that tomorrow when we come and check them yeah we'll be able to just Scoot along. First trap is out. Now we gotta bait and set everything else. Put it in the gear. Look at that, that slick, that nasty chicken already made. Yeah. Number two. Alright Jesse, what did we just pick? Sea beans. So just like a salty sea bean. Alright guys, taste test. One out of ten. Sea bean. Do you swallow it? Yeah. I mean it's like... It's a little chewy. That one was real bitter at the end. Oh, uh, you might have got but maybe super like salty. Stem. Maybe you gotta get the, just the tips. Just those like... Uh, the more tender parts. We're gonna use it in one of our dishes this week, don't worry. Yeah. But we got bait, we're gonna go see if we can't catch a few redfish, and then we gotta get back and uh, start cooking. So we've never put a gaff top in this boat until Jesse Griffiths comes in. I'm honored. He said, oh yeah. No, I like them. My dad's gonna tell you all about how his dad, all they targeted was gaff top back in the day. They're good. All right. We'll give y'all a gaff top recipe tonight. That's a good one too. Yeah. All right, we're gonna Man, keep this I'm slime excited. out of the boat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that slime's already migrating. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can net this sucker. Whoa. I got a fish on too. Yeah. I'll, I'll deal with this. No, 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 just keep them close. I'm gonna reel this one in. Whoa. You ever caught one? I've never caught an alligator gar before. Really? Uh-uh. Oh, they're delicious. Yeah, I've caught me tons of like spotted long nose but... Oh no, these guys right here. We need a pistol really. I just try to bring me his head if you can. Oh he's hooked perfect. Lift up, lift up. easy big old back straps in this sucker all right guys I'm putting the camera down I gotta net him yep swing him back around oh oh well, that's a uh, that's, uh, that's no bueno yeah don't break off huh what do you think about that, Jesse? Pretty impressive. 
Oh, there we go. Lasso the guard through a broken net. Yep. Broke my net. <laughs> That's all right. We got more. Jesse's working on the old triple tail and the gaff top. I'm gonna tackle that guy down there. So he's just laying him out regular. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it's a old. beach, eh? So. Just all right, guys, camera died, but Jesse working on the old gaff top. He got the tail done. Tail's done. And one big old gar fillet, and I'm working on the other side. Lots of meat. All righty, guys. Camera's dead. So sorry. It really is a shame, but we got triple tail ceviche. Two ways. We got an avocado. Cilantro, orange, onion, lime, lime, onion, onion. This Some one's the orange base. Serrano. That's going to be orange. Uh, a little bit of red onion and wahio chilies. That's and what salt. I'm talking about. That's dinner, guys. We got a little bit of gar steak on the grill, and then I messed up my one job and I burnt the rice in front of the chef. So salt. Uh. Mm. Yeah, well. Alrighty guys, the time has come. We are, it is the next day. Uh, we did a bunch of fish this morning, so you'll stay tuned for the next video. Um, but it's time to check our traps. Travis is back there cutting up mullet. So we can re-bait our traps. Um, who knows, if we get like 40 or 50 crabs, we'll probably just pull them in. Yeah. Unless you want more. Oh, I might get greedy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can take them. I can eat a lot of crabs. I can too. So, I'll keep y'all updated. We'll check these eight traps, rebate them, and hopefully we have enough to do a boil for you guys tonight. Trap number one. time for crabs Jesse already he's ahead of the game so he made his own brought his own crab boils so what we got in here what are we working with salt bay dried chilies uh, garlic powder a little bit of clove a little bit of coriander lots of salt lots of salt two cups we'll do two to three gallons so about a cup per gallon you want it pretty salty oh yeah yeah, and then the, the secret stuff that y'all can't know about. Yeah, and then there's nine other ingredients in there that I want. <laughs> that right there. Critter glitter Cajun. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Let that get to a boil? Yeah, bring that up to a boil. Uh, potatoes are going first, but that's just when we're ready. And okay. then crabs are going after that. Cool. And I got some ceviche working over here. I just cut it all up. And I'm going to try to replicate Jesse's recipe from last night, so we'll see how I do. So, getting it back up, heat it up, and then potatoes. Oh, you got peas. Yeah, I got some green beans. Oh, green beans. I'm gonna do, I'll drop potatoes in there first, uh, just cause uh, they'll probably, these are pretty small, so they're not gonna take that long. I'll go in potatoes, and then crabs, and then I like to put the corn and the beans in at the very end, cause yep. I like them not overcooked, I like them really crunchy. 
And then uh, 10 minutes on the boil, 10 minutes on the soak, drain, toss some garlic butter. And that's all my secrets. What about this secret? Oh, a little bit of vinegar in there to help the meat separate from the shell. It's how how true is it though? That's true. Yeah, you need some you need some acid in there and it'll really help them separate a lot better. And also kind of like sweeten the meat a little bit. Um, I mean it's it's not gonna be a huge deal, but it, when you're picking to have those nice big chunks yeah. out, uh, really cleanly is nice. Also having good good quality crackers and like you know uh, like I use those uh, toadfish crackers which are awesome. Get you a toadfish cracker. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're game changers. I mean, they're not cheap, but they're, they're, they're worth every penny. Sweet. I threw an orange in there. I threw a couple cloves of garlic in there. I had an extra uh, red jalapeno. I threw it out in there, too. What do you call those? Well, if it's no, no, when you smoke it. Chipotle. Chipotle, yeah. We had a discussion about that last night. Yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, it's just a really ripe jalapeno. Just up that spice level a little bit. But cool. Once this comes back to the boil, potatoes first. Crabs are crabs. over here. Yeah. So we got a mix of fresh crabs. We also got some clean crabs. So we got some crabs that we caught the other day and we gutted them and rinsed them really well and then refrigerated them. And they'll hold that way for a couple of days, which is a good way uh, if you can't uh, get them on the boil real quick and you don't have a good way to hold them because they can be a little sensitive. We didn't count how many we had. It was about 14 or 15. Yeah. Plenty, plenty for us three. Thank you. All right. Say goodbye to my little friends. Alright. You want some tongs? Are they no, chilled? I think they're pretty chilled, but they're still alive. That's great. That's See ya, Charlie. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. Good one. Sam. Sam. That's a good crab. <laughs> this man loves crabs. Put that one on the wall. Yep. Ten minutes and then shut it off and let them soak for ten minutes. Yep. Okay. Crabs are done. They boiled for ten minutes and soaked for ten. Should be perfect. And we'll get the next round going in there. But get all these vegetables out of there too. And at this point I'm gonna toss everything in some garlic butter too. Ooh. Just because, you know. Why not? Why not? You can do all kinds of different butters. Sometimes I'll throw some ginger in there. Sometimes I'll throw some herbs. I'm ready. Melted garlic butter over everything and then I'll give that a good toss and I think that needs about twice as much garlic butter. And some bay leaves? Yeah. Always bay. Bay and everything. Especially when it comes to crabs. Uh, what kind of chilies are in there? That's just some more red jalapenos that I just wow. sliced up and threw in there. And just cooked real gently in there. Toss this a little bit. Oh, that smell I can't right. wait. That smells amazing. Oh yeah. Garlic butter. I'm All right, gonna, Jesse is fun. going to show y'all the proper way to eat a blue crab, and then I'm gonna do a taste test of Jesse's food. By the way, before we start, if y'all don't know, Jesse has a awesome restaurant in Austin. Y'all go check it out, it'll be linked in the description. Onward. Awesome, all right. So right here, we're gonna do the male crab, so I'm gonna peel this back first. Take that off, and then I'm gonna remove the top shell. Okay, top shell is a discard, and then we're gonna take, these are the lungs. Sometimes they call them the dead man fingers. And next, I'm gonna take this crab and break it in half. Oh, already we've got some delicious meat right here that I'm just gonna make sure. Yep. That lump. Suspicions confirmed. <laughs> Um, everything's good. That's what that vinegar does is when you start to break your claws off You're gonna get these nice little bits when you pull these swimmerettes and claws off of I usually set my claws aside because that's gonna be a different assignment Oh, okay, and then I will tackle 
uh, the interior of it. So I think the best part is this back swimmerette. I'm gonna kind of give it a light crush and then a pull. And then what you're gonna get here is some really good lump crab meat. And oh, you're yeah. either gonna have it come out in one piece or kind of tease it out like that. And then you can just go in. Perfect. All right, guys. Super good. Oh, there's more to it. Oh, there's more to it. Oh, there's way more. <laughs> so next I'm gonna kind of break the body open. It's a little tedious in here. And you're gonna continue to just get all that meat out of the body. And, and it's gonna separate pretty easily. Once you put that vinegar in there, that helps drastically. And just getting all of that out. And then we'll move on to the claw. Oh man, we're really good. So the claw is gonna be in two parts. We've got the dangerous part right here. And then this little bicep area. What I wanna do is I wanna crack that straight down and it should pull out a little bit of that membrane right there, which isn't very edible. That's good, we wanna get that out of there. And then I'm gonna take this movable claw and break that down and pull that out. See, that's what the vinegar does, because if you don't do that, half of the meat sticks to that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Next up, what I'm gonna do is come in with these crab cutters, and these things are like, these are just the Cadillac of crab cutters, they're awesome. I'm gonna give it a crack just about halfway, just real gently and pull that, and now that I've pulled that membrane out of there, all I've got is a hmm. primo piece of crab meat right there. Pardon me. Oh man, okay. And then I'm gonna do the same, that's so good. The same thing here, I'm gonna pull that out gently, and then I'm gonna remove the rest of that. Might have to tease it out, it broke a little bit, so. That's when you can employ this little picking tool if you want. Get the rest of it out. I mean, it's a lot of work. I will acknowledge that, but it's really fun. That's perfect. I love crab. About two minutes of crab. There you go, guys. There you go. Doesn't take that long. No. Awesome. Totally. Rate it one out of ten. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to eat some, and then I'll do a taste test for you guys. All right, guys. Over here, slamming them down. I'm going to give you all a little taste test off my personal favorite. Piece. Is this, you said this is your favorite piece too, right? Yeah. The back to, or whatever, the back swimmerette. Peel that little bit of shell. It's like a perfect box around that meat. Get all that off. All of that right there. All of that right there is meat. One out of ten. Blue crab. Ten. All day. We don't eat them near enough. My dad's behind the camera and we're just wishing we'd have bought a lot more traps and uh, done this more often. Cause we will forward. Moving yep. forward, huh? Awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, y'all go check out Jesse, his Instagram and restaurant will be linked in the description box and there's another video after this of us probably one of the best waiting days of the year we wore them out so y'all stay tuned for that hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and remember eat good